Gilead is a small North Carolina town located in the Piedmont section of the state, about an hour east of Charlotte. It goes back to the early 1800s when it was known as Providence Settlement. From its inception through the 1930s, farming and lumber were the mainstays of the area, but cotton was the biggest cash crop in Mount Gilead. By 1904, there was a roller mill, there were two cotton warehouses, and a large cotton seed oil mill and a large lumber plant. However, in the 1930s, as the cotton crop began to wane as a result of the boll weevil infestation, all of that began to change. And of course, then the Great Depression brought in a, a collapse. In the late 1930s, the textile industry emerged as the new economy. The story goes that the son of Moses Richter was in college and he was being taught how the small towns were dying and unemployment was killing the small towns of the state. And he came home and spoke to his father about this problem. And as a result, Moses Richter began United Mills. And then later it was called Gilead Manufacturing. And it operated up until 1989 and employed hundreds of people. I thought, this building is huge. I will never know which way I'm going or where I'm supposed to be in this building. But I, I got used to it and it, it didn't seem so big. I loved working there. It was a friendly atmosphere. We all got along. We had a, a big canteen where we could go, you know, and have a break. And we had we were on production then. So, and we had these little, uh, little uh, tickets. We had to take off every bundle and stick them on the paper at the end of the day so we could see if we made production and how much, depending on how much we did was what we made. We done pretty good there. We were running three shifts and had about 49 people working, you know, and that's about the time when everything went, you might say south, south of the border anyhow. And within a year and a half, I was down to three or four people and couldn't keep them busy. I know there was one, three or more, three or four months period there, and I worked by myself. I used to have nothing for anybody to do. And somebody asked me one time, how did I hang on? And I said, by a thread, because that's all it was, you know. The mill closings and the changes in the textile uh, industry were really hard, and furniture industry, uh, were extremely hard on our small towns, especially in rural areas, and especially those that, uh, where the major employer was a, a, a textile facility. Some of the uh, mills that closed, their employees may have been two or three times the population of the town. So it's had major impact, not only in jobs, but also restaurants and drugstores and services. Just the whole economy uh, typically has suffered. It's been a wild ride. We were very busy at first because just across the street was a lingerie factory employing 500 people. So uh, as uh, that, went out of business after a while, as well as the five or six sock manufacturers that were here. Uh, there was a lull there where business was not very good, but then the lumber industry took over. So we're the largest independent Southern Pine operation in the world now, with the expansion that we're now going through as we speak. All of it coming from this little small town. And over the years, what we've done, we just kept growing, growing when we could, and uh, ne never, never had any stockholders. It's one of the big advantages. It's such a family, and I had control. So uh, if we made money, uh, 
and figure out where we could spend that money to get better. And sometimes that didn't please everybody because they like to have a dividend, you know. So I think a combination of that, small town, uh, people with a commitment uh, has made a big difference and, and good, good workers. Where you, people say, where were you from? I said, I'm from a good place to raise pine trees and children. We have a very good diversified uh, industry climate here in Mount Gilead at this time. Uh, we, uh, we do have some major employers of, of the town, which are McCray Industries, um, Jordan Lumber Supply. Uh, we have other manufacturing companies, such as Paperworks, uh, McCray Wood Treating, uh, Tobe Manufacturing. So, and all of them are very different in their business uh, operations. Uh, have a, a, good, a good business climate downtown uh, with our shops. We were able to get three buildings downtown, three storefronts, donated to a Mount Gilead Redevelopment Corporation uh, with the idea, we had the idea initially, of converting those three buildings, which were dormant, into arts and crafts, uh, a center for arts and crafts. So that worked out well. We, we have a dance studio now upstairs in those three buildings. We have uh, the outstanding art program, I believe, in this region in one of the other buildings. That's a, a company called, uh, or a business called Artifacts. We have uh, a man who operates a business of uh, repairing clocks, particularly antique clocks, in one of our spaces. We have another man who specializes in bottoming chairs, caning chairs, it's called. Um, those businesses would not be there if it were not for the STEP program. Uh, new businesses that are opening up, uh, we're real excited about that. In the last couple of years, uh, we've had some new restaurants to open up on our main street. So we decided that folks in Mount Gilead are just like everywhere else, and if we felt there was a need for some place to be, then other people were feeling the need to. So we opened a coffee shop. We have, have come back and visited when there's times where there's just um, nothing along Main Street. And now there's a little bit of buzz. There's a little something happening and businesses are, are starting to consider. I mean, we have the several new businesses in, in, the, in, in downtown right now and other businesses are thinking about joining Mount Gilead downtown. So I think, um, I think there's a buzz happening. There's something ready to uh, break through in Mount Gilead. I, I would like to see that uh, we can develop a plan that Mount Gilead can become a kind of a niche town to uh, hopefully bring in visitors that want to come to Montgomery County to enjoy our natural resources such as Lake Tillery and the Uari National Forest or Town Creek Indian Mound as an examples. Um, I, I think that's a vision that we need to talk about. And so we're certainly going to initiate the efforts to develop this, this kind of a master plan that all of our citizens and our merchants can uh, agree on and, and we can all decide what is the best path forward for our town.